Hey you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and on this channel I love to talk about beauty content, especially fragrances. In today's video you guys, we are going to be talking about 10 fragrances that are not given to meal. These fragrances are not mindful. So if you guys are trying to be a part of that whole demure movement, do not wear these fragrances. Now, before we get into those fragrances, you guys, whether you are new or you are returning, thank you guys so much for watching my content. I truly do appreciate it. And if you do like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're not subscribed, giving this video a thumbs up and sharing my content. Now, let's talk about these fragrances. You guys, I know that you know there is the whole demure movement. It is very mindful. You see how I do my makeup for work? very demure very mindful and all of those things i wasn't even paying attention to that i i wasn't checking for it until tammy roxanne did her whole demure video and then i went down this dark rabbit hole of watching all of these demure videos because it kept playing in my head and living rent free and so now i'm like okay am i being demure am i being mindful but when it's cold outside you guys do we really want that demure, mindful fragrance? Or do we want to be loud and bold? These fragrances are loud and bold. They command attention. They're confident. They're not a part of that whole demure movement. So you guys, let's start off with the first one. This is an honorable mention. I'm mentioning this. I'm saying honorable because it is newer to my collection and I'm still getting to know it, but I can tell this language, this fragrance screams at you. This is not given to mirror at all. I won this in a um, giveaway from Denise Adore. Hey girl, hey, and thank you. This is the all over body spray from Navitas Parfums Meal Exhaust. Y'all, when I first sprayed this on my arm, just a little bit, not even a lot, I said, whoa, this is strong. This is definitely going to command attention and this is perfect for those cold weather months. And I sprayed it on my arm right now. This baby is strong right here. I know there's some fruitiness in here, apricot or something. There's definitely honey because the honey is honeying. This is a really nice, nice, nice fragrance. I think there's some chocolate in here too, but you guys do not let the fact that this is a body spray fool you. This little body spray, this sucker lasts and lasts and lasts. So if you're trying to be demure and mindful when you go to work, church, restaurant, whatever, don't wear this because you're going to get noticed. You're going to run them out of the room. This is Mil Exhaust from Navitas Parfums. Next one, you guys, is from La Tapa. Now, you know if we're doing a not a demure fragrance, there are going to be some Middle Eastern fragrances in here because they are very loud. They command attention a lot of times. This is Batty Oud Honor and Glory. And I promise you, this is not given to me. This is going to last and last and last and fill up a room. My goodness, I still smell that meal exhaust. That stuff is strong. Oh my gosh, this is so great. I'm so glad I, I kept it. It has a freshness, fruitiness in the opening from the pineapple. There's creme brulee in here. There's cinnamon. There's musk. This is so, so gorgeous. But I promise you, this is going to command attention. These fragrances are what I guess will be considered beast mode. It's going to command attention and cut through the cold weather. So if you're trying to be a part of that Demure, I only have a little chi chi out, not the whole cho cho type of situation. This ain't it. This is the opposite of demure. This is banging and long lasting and it lingers in the air. It goes on and on and on. This is also a unisex fragrance, you guys. If I did mention, so gorgeous, not given demure. Betty Al Oud, Honor and Glory from La Tafa. If you're trying to be cutesy, if you're trying to build a fragrance collection that's modest and shy and mindful, don't don't reach for this fragrance. Don't buy it. This is Jo Malone Myrrh and Tonka Intense Cologne Intense. This one right here is unisex, is sexy, is sophisticated, lavender, 
myrrh and tonka it gets attention it turns heads it's giving everything that demure is not supposed to be so if you are thinking of being a part of that movement leave this fragrance alone and look for one of their other fragrances this ain't it joe malone's myrrh and tonka this next one you guys is another one from the middle eastern dupe house latafa and this is nebras this one you guys is the total opposite of demure it's not allowing you to remain mindful in the background shy modest don't do it i know you've heard the rumors about how good this fragrance is and it actually is this is an inspired version of the first billy eilish fragrance red berries cacao vanilla rose which i have never smelled in here this is such a beautiful fragrance but this fragrance cuts through layers of clothes in the cold i've gotten compliments on this fragrance in the dead of winter it is absolutely gorgeous but it is given the opposite of demure so if you're trying to be a part of that movement leave this alone it's not going to work this next one you guys is delena exclusive this one y'all this is a loud, long-lasting, beautiful fragrance for this upcoming fall and winter season. Lychee, rose, vetiver, incense. Oh, it smells like heaven. This is the one, if you're newer to my channel, I, I was, um, how do I say? I think I was a little scarred when I wore this fragrance during the pandemic being social distancing six feet away from someone at work while she was wearing her mask she sent an email to the manager saying my perfume offended her instead of just coming to me and say hey your perfume is really loud can you uh move to another area or something so this fragrance cuts through mask it cuts through clothes Social distancing, you can forget it with this fragrance. You will still be smelled. Your fragrance will project. It is not given to me. So don't even think about it. Maybe La Rose if you're trying to be demure. Think about that one. This one, no, absolutely not. Don't try it. It's so beautiful though. Grown, sexy, love it. Delina Exclusive. This next one, you guys, is another fragrance that I wear if I want to be seen, complimented, noticed. This is one that you're going to either love or hate. This is Rosendo Matu number no. 5. Such a beautiful fragrance that I just absolutely fell in love with. They have a Middle Eastern dupe, Ishk. I'm not going to mess that name up, but I'll put a picture of it up for you guys. It smells exactly like it, but this one... It's definitely not getting demure. It's spicy. It has some vanilla. It's musky. But don't think because it has vanilla that is gourmand. It's absolutely not. There's some saffron in here. This is such a beautiful fragrance in my opinion. But it's definitely not giving. I'm trying to be mindful. I'm shy. I'm demure. No. Don't do it. This is not the fragrance. Rosendo Matu number 5. This next fragrance, you guys, is another one from Navitas Parfums, and this is Monte Cassonade in collaboration with Sharita M here on YouTube. You guys, I haven't worn this in a long time, and I decided to pull it out, and it has definitely aged since I've last worn it, and this, this sucker is strong. Woo! Woo! It used to smell like there was butterscotch in here to me, but now it smells like straight up toffee and vanilla ice cream. There's some amber in here. This is a true slap you dead in your face gourmand fragrance for sure. This is strong and long lasting. If you're looking for a cutesy gourmand that's not very strong and given to me, this is an inch. Try vanilla skin. Or Burberry Goddess, if you're looking for a cutesy vanilla that's given to me. Don't, don't do this one. This is super strong, super long-lasting. Total opposite of Demure. 
Monty Cassinat from Nabatist Platforms. Now, y'all, I couldn't do an opposite of demure fragrances without including guidance. I mean, if you wear this fragrance, you know doggone well people are going to notice you. They're going to compliment you. It's going to get their attention. Let me tell you guys, I sprayed this when I went to work because I don't try to be demure when I'm going to work. Even though I work in the hospital where I sit, I kind of sit away from everybody else. So I sprayed this, but I did want to try to be kind of mindful, but I didn't spray too much. And I would say about two weeks, two weeks later, after I went to work, I wore that sweater. It was chilly outside. I was walking to my mailbox and this lady walked past me. We exchanged pleasantries. And as she headed to turn around the corner now she's about a good two three feet away from me she yells back to me you smell good i said oh really you can smell me yes you smell amazing i said oh my gosh thank you i'm wearing amouage guidance it smells good now we're having this kind of far away conversation but the dog on scent was still in the sweater from two weeks prior so if you're trying to be demure and you see, oh, this has pear and rose and hazelnut in it. This is going to be nice. No, ma'am. Don't do that. Don't ignore those other notes. The labdarum and the olibanum and all that stuff. Aki Gala Wood. This fragrance is a beast. It has power. It's confident. And never did I ever think at the beginning of my fragrance journey would I wear something like this? Because I was more of a demure, not knowing I was demure type of fragrance person. When I look back at the fragrances I first purchased, Tiffany and Co., uh, Chloe Love Story. Those are soft, modest, feminine fragrances. But now I'm like, I have all of these beast mode fragrances. I'm not trying to hide out in the background. I'm not trying to be modest not that there's anything wrong with that but I love a fragrance that commands attention a lot of times which brings me you guys to our affirmation of the day let me read it do not despise the days of small beginnings your steps may be ordered but you have to take them I heard that from uh Sarah Jakes and I just was like whoa I need to write that down for the YouTube fam because that was very powerful it takes a lot to wear something that is going to get you noticed, whether it's clothes or shoes or fragrances, because a lot of times when you're modest, I don't want to say you're in the background, but you're not causing commotion. Sometimes it's fun to be noticed and turn heads. I love that, especially with my fragrances. So this one, you guys, is one of my favorites. It's definitely not given to me. We're not trying to hide in the background with this or be modest. This is Amouage Guidance. Now, this last one, you guys. Whew, this is a strong little gourmand. I have a lot of gourmands here. That wasn't intentional, but I have a lot of gourmands in my collection. This is Bianco Latte. This has got to be the longest, strongest, one of the longest, strongest fragrances I have ever smelled in my life. And it's been duplicated a lot, but nobody has been able to duplicate the power and longevity of this fragrance. That smells absolutely incredible. It's creamy. It's sweet. There's honey in here and milk and a spice. Is it cardamom or coumarin? Maybe it's coumarin. This smells so good. And when this gets on something, it is going to hold on tight and not let go. This is the fragrance my brother said smelled like angel pee. This one right here. I don't get the angelic pee smell, but I do get this creamy, beautiful fragrance that if you're trying to be demure and you see the notes and you're like, oh, that's going to be really nice and modest. Don't get this. Get the one from Latafa because that one, Eclair, they did really good with the smell, but the power this fragrance possesses, mm -mm, no. This isn't it.
This is not given to me at all. This is beautiful. Bianco Latte from the House of Giordani di Toscana. You know what, you guys? I said that was the last fragrance, but how could I do this video without mentioning this fragrance? It's right behind me. Valaya, don't let this cute clear frosted bottle fool you. This is another fragrance that will knock your whole socks off. This fragrance, as beautiful as it is, like the bottle is given demure, it's given mindful. It's showing a little chi chi, not the whole cho cho. If that's what she said, I couldn't, I can't remember everything, but this doggone fragrance is not given demure. If I spray this, let's spray a little bit in the air. Oh, what a beautiful fragrance. This is long lasting forever and ever. It is very strong. It attracts attention. It turns head. It travels down the hall and goes into other rooms. Fruity, aldehydic, fresh, kind of clean, beautiful fragrance. You would think that this fragrance wouldn't be that strong. Lies. All lies. This is the total opposite of Demure. It is not mindful. This is a boss. Love this fragrance. This is Valaya from Parfums de Marley. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this fun little video that I decided to do. Thank you, Tammy, because you were the inspiration behind it, kind of. I enjoyed making it. These fragrances are not given to me. They are the total opposite. Comment down below on fragrances that you would think, you know what, Liz, this isn't given to me or either. Maybe you would like it. I would love to know what you guys think the suggestions you have and until we meet again remember how blessed and highly favored you are stay safe and i will talk to you next time bye